What's going on, everybody? It's the Bayou City Report, man. Coming back at you with some facts, okay? I want to talk about some fatal accidents that occur often, man, in the city of Houston. But number one, uh, as of February 2024, Texas is number one for the worst drivers in the United States, man, okay? Now, as far as the overall country is concerned, motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death for Americans under the age of 54. Now, as of 2022, nearly 42,800 Americans lost their lives uh, due to fatal accidents, okay? Now, this totaled up to about a $340 billion loss. This was back in 2019 alone, so you're not counting the following years, man. Now, Houston, as some of you may know or maybe have heard, we, I think, have the worst drivers in the country. Now, there's going to be a bunch of people that may argue for their city, um, but I know for Houston, certain highways like I-10, 45, I mean, just across the city, horrible drivers, okay? Uh, that's why our insurance rates for uh, auto insurance are so freaking high, man. Now, back in 2020, Harris County recorded 585 traffic deaths, okay? This is, equiv this, this is the equivalent of about one and a half deaths per day, okay? So the traffic death rate of, it's, it comes out to about 12.3 per 100,000, okay, in Harris County. And the United States and Texas, the figures are around 13.7 per 100,000 and then 14.7 per 100,000, respectively. Okay, so Harris County does have a relatively less, uh, a lower amount of, you know, traffic fatalities than the nation. Okay, now we're not a very walkable city either. So there's a whole nother segment of people getting run over, hit by cars, um, even though we don't we don't have as high of a fatality rate. We still have horrible drivers that wind up hitting people, people who are homeless crossing the street. Um, there was actually another woman that I, I knew on my side of town that she was just driving and there was a guy who walked into the street uh, willingly. Um, one car swerved, missed the guy. She unfortunately hit the guy and now has a case pending. Okay, Houston overall, I would say the the highways that you should be aware of as a local from this city met 45. 45, 45, 45 is the worst highway in the city of Houston, man. It's a, there's, there's some narrow cor uh, corridors as you're trying to go through um, the 610 region. Even when you pass 610 heading north, it's horrible. It doesn't really open up until you get up near the woodlands, a little bit past spring. That's when you get, you know, multiple lanes and then folks just floor it. Another freeway to be aware of is I-10, especially heading west where when you get out toward Katy, you know, past the energy corridor, you got folks just flying about, a you know, 90, 100 miles an hour for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. You're not even factoring in the street racers that come out at night, you know, with their chargers and, you know, their scat packs and every other kind of vehicle you could think of just hauling, you know, hauling tail down the road. Okay, I'm going to keep it clean. <laughs> you know, flying down the highway, running 90, 100 miles an hour plus, and then you get into like the past 2 a.m. crew. And so Houston has tried to step up by adding uh, more, you know, enforcement on the highway. You're just seeing like DPS agents or officers, seeing more constables, seeing more HPD, unmarked cars, just, you know, sitting by the side of the freeway, man, uh, waiting for somebody to be gassing it. But I would say y'all just stay safe out there. Um, keep your head on a swivel. You know, you can see why. Auto insurance rates have skyrocketed, at least within Harris County. And then, you know, in my opinion, this is the cause for, you know, why I think Houston is the worst city for drivers, man. There's some good drivers out there, but for the most part, it's pretty wild out here. It's the Bayou City Report, man. Coming back at you with some updates. Y'all stay safe. I'm out.